Okay, everyone. I have my spackle in my containers, and I'm going to add my bag here. And I'm going to add my colors. The colors I'm going to use right now, right? The colors I'm going to use right now are the different colors of purple, light orchid, brilliant purple, and wild orchid. So let's start because I think I want the the actual frosting of this the lightest, and then I'll do the decorating with these two colored purples. So. Let's start adding our acrylic. It's a pretty color. I love purples. Purples, cream, sage green. Love them. Yeah, this will be pretty. Then I'm going to add a little bit of yellow, maybe in some flowers on it, because of what I'm going to use for decoration on it. And you'll see when I'm done. Okay, I'm going to mix these and then I'll be back. Okay, so here's two of the colors. Very pretty. Look at that. Very pastel. Remember something, too, I was mixing this and thinking about telling you. When you get the colors, they're not going to be this, this exact color as you can see because you're mixing them with white. White's going to make them lighter. So if you want something a lot darker, then get a darker color because they're going to come out lighter. So I just wanted to tell you that. I'm going to add a little bit more because I need a little bit more for my bag and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm almost done. Just adding a little bit more because this is what I'm going to go around the sides with and maybe do the flowers in the middle. Okay. Okay, I have my pastry bag full of what I'm going to use, and now we're going to now we're going to frost our cake. Okay, here we go. Again, this is just from a package of. little spatulas from the craft department. Frost it just like you would a cake. It's really pretty. Very pastel orchid color. Good in my formal dining room. Almost forgot something guys. What was I thinking? I almost forgot my turntable I bought. Let's see how well it works. Well, it works, but you know what? At this point, for frosting it, I don't think it's really uh, essential unless you tape down, which I could do, but I'm not going to do it now. You could tape it down so it doesn't move around so much. When I'm decorating, it'll probably come in handy. Just make sure you get all the little places covered, whatever you're using as your cake base. Cookie tin, styrofoam, 
if I have enough, I'm going to do a little petite cake out of some styrofoam packaging I, I saved from something I got from Amazon. Keep that stuff. I don't know if you've priced styrofoam. Some of it's not cheap. Okay, you get the gist of this. I'll be back when this is done being frosted and then we'll start decorating it. Okay, so I'm done frosting. And this did come in handy when I was, I was able just to turn it around while I was uh, getting the sides. I'm going to frost a piece of styrofoam that I kept from some packaging. And this will be one of those little petite cakes. Square. Keep your packaging, keep your paper when they wrap it up when you buy something. What's there, kids? What I should have done is I should have put it on one of those waxed pieces of cardboard like I did my uh, cupcake. I'll have to remember that for next time. Okay, all I have to do now is decorate it. Okay, I went and got this. I wanted to show you. When you're doing these, Instead of holding it like I did and get, you know, not being able to reach certain spots, before you start, just tape down whatever it is that you are frosting and then you have something to hold on to, okay? So, I just wanted to show you that. Okay, so now, so far, we've got a cake and a petite cake frosted, but we still have to decorate and I have to wait for this to dry. You know, if I ever won the lottery, I would have a huge craft room built with a sink in it. And a big screen TV. 80 inch. I'm not kidding. And a fireplace. I really would. Okay. So now, let's, I have my open star, and I like this one because it's real fluffy looking. Let's twist this. Don't know if I'm going to go around the edges here, for sure around here. And you guys, what I'm going to decorate it with, I made these cookies, and if you have looked I don't know if I will have put this on before this uh, DIY. If I have already put it on, you will have seen how to make them. If I haven't yet, stick around to watch this. This is salt dough with the spackle in the tips decorating this. To me, this looks retro. So this is going to be the center of my cake. And then I'm going to take these little eggs that I've had for a long time. You know those wooden ones? And I'm going to put those on, but I just don't know for sure yet. You know what? I'm going to cut this string off real quick. I just like that real vintage. Okay. I want to make sure you can see this. Okay. Oh, look. It's turning by itself, guys. Cool. Oh, I do like this. Now this is pretty. I like the way it's turning out. I like these big tip, especially for cakes and cupcakes. Oh, that's pretty. 
Okay, what I'm going to do is I want to put these on here first. And then I might make more to put the rim around the, at the bottom. But I want to make sure to get the same color here. So I have to have something for this little chip to stand up on. So I may put it on and then put the chippy on it after. like that that is cute oh yeah that really looks vintage to me okay now now I got to see do I want do I want them here or do I want them out here hmm not sure Oh, where do I want you? Where do I want you? Hmm. Just doing that so it'll adhere to the, it won't fall off. I think I want to put a little bit of yellow in there, you know, so it goes with the chip. Okay, I'm going to use a leaf tip on this. Because you can still see some of the green on the chicky, see, down there, the grass I did. Always try one on your paper first. Very carefully. I just want to add a little color. Now I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of yellow, just a tiny, 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 tiny. Now, I think I have enough to go around. All right, so let's move this. I think I'm just gonna have a, just enough. Guys, literally, literally, I have just enough. Oh my gosh, just enough to fill in there.
That is pretty. And I don't think the egg would look right on it. Okay. That's it. That's all she wrote on this one. So I'm not going to do any more to her. I think she's very vintage looking. Perfect. All right, let's go on now to the little petite cake. Okay, let's see. What could we put on this one? I think I'll go around and do a trim of yellow here because I'm I sure I have enough of that. See, and with the freezer paper, when this dries, you're not going to have to worry about it sticking. Okay. Now, do I want to go around the bottom? Do I? I wonder if I can get anything left out of here. I can. And just enough. Ha! Look at that. Cool. That's cool. Okay, now, nope, don't think so. What's going on with this, guys? How come my egg isn't looking like right Okay, I want to see if I'm trying to look, okay. And all that was, was styrofoam packing from a box. That is that. I'll let that dry and then I can put that either on my bar cart or my hutch when it's done. So I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, so now what are we gonna do with this cupcake? What are we gonna do with it? I'm gonna make enough of this because I'm gonna show you something else to make that you'll frost in another video. Gotta get this on right now because you don't want it to get dry. Okay. Mix that up and I'll be back. Okay guys, what I wanted to show you. Now, for people that are new to my channel, I showed you how to make these faux cupcakes if you go back to my Valentine. Also, I did, did one in my Halloween too. Anyway, um, 
I wanted to show you this. I make made a lot so I didn't have to keep making them every time I wanted to decorate for a different holiday. Well, as you can see at the time, this was in the time Thanksgiving, Halloween. Well, I don't want this for Easter, but I don't want to get rid of this. This is a perfectly good cupcake, right? So just rip it off. No big deal. Take it off. And if it doesn't come off all the way at the bottom, it's no big deal because you're going to be putting a new cupcake liner. You're going to be put. You're going to be putting this in a new cupcake liner. So you're not going to see the very bottom. You're not going to see that. So there you go. Now it's an Easter cupcake. So let's see if I have one of my. I might as well show you. I have to make a new one. But here's a piece of cardboard again from a box that I got in the mail. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a piece of freezer paper, wax paper, parchment paper, whatever you have, a piece of cardboard from an old box, because you want something sturdy. You don't want like a cereal box that's not sturdy enough, unless you glue it a couple pieces together, but it would be easier just to do this. What you're gonna do is you're just going to Take this, take some tape, wrap it up, and you can use this over and over. You don't have to just use it one time. Okay. Just like you're wrapping something. Doesn't have to be beautiful, it just has to be wrapped to serve its purpose. Now, turn it over, make a piece of double sided tape from your tape, or if you have double sided, great, but I don't. So I'm making my own, just turn it over on itself. Put it in the middle, okay? And put your cupcake on it. Then you're holding it then this is holding it so you can go ahead if you have to pick it up and you're not having to try to hold it. Okay. All right, so now go ahead. Now, I mixed more, okay? But this isn't quite the same color as this, and I didn't care that some of the white, it wasn't mixed in completely. I kind of wanted it that way so it would be kind of a variegated. So whatever it comes out is great. Okay, so. Very nice. Very pretty. And if you don't want your uh, cupcake showing at all, just start lower. I, but I want the cake itself kind of showing too, because it's yellow and purple and I like it. All right, so now I think Yep, that's what I'm going to do. That little egg's going to go right in there. Let's see. How do I want to... I want to do this one because I like the cupcake. Uh... Okay. This again, push this around.
and there's that. That's cute. I like that. Okay. Maybe. Let's use one of these now. Which let's use a yellow. Should we use another one? Okay. So there's that one. Okay, guys, I took the camera down so I could bring you around here. And there they are. There are the Easter cupcakes made from insulation that you spray into a cupcake liner. Whatever embellishments you want to give them. Here is a little petite cake made from styrofoam that was in a package that I had gotten from Amazon with your spackle and acrylic paint decorative tips. And here is this adorable vintage cake made from a paper mache box. The cookie was made with salt dough and decorated again with spackle. And I used that for the decoration on top. Again, wanted to keep it shabby chic, vintage. So there they are. I hope that you'll make them. If you do, please let me know how they turn out. I would love to know. And I will be back with another DIY. And until then, remember the world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever, ever forget that. I'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye.